What is up my Rizzo Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is the Battle Royale leak that came out the other day. Now this leak was a detailed leak about zones, point of interests and there's an image of the map which I will show you on screen right now. There is also an image of the loading screen and a few other images as well. However, I cannot show them because they are actually recently just deleted off the Reddit page. There's a huge amount of information that was leaked from this on Reddit. So yeah, let's just get straight into it guys. So the maps will have zones, which are basically parts of the map you can land. Now, if you play ground war, which I personally don't, you have been essentially playing the battle royale map. Now, some of the parts are already in Ground War, and they are the Varst District, the Quarry, and the Farm. And I'll try and have images of them as well on the screen now. So, the zones are Airfield, Boneyard, Dam, Downtown, Gulag, Hospital, Layover, Lumber, Overgrown, Port, Quarry, Storage Town, Supercenter, Train Yard, and TV Station. Now, there are points of interest as well, and if we take the Apex Legends for an example, every game you play has a quote unquote hotspot on the map. And this is where some of the best loot is and it's basically found and tons of people go there and I'll just put an image of that so you can basically see what what I mean and what I think the points of interest will be for for the Call of Duty Battle Royale. So this is basically like the points of interest and the ones for the Modern Warfare Battle Royale are going to be Bank fire station, gas station, gun store, pharmacy, and police station. Some of the default options for public match are the player count is going to be 200 players in one, the playlists that you can play are solo, which is just one player, duos, which is two, and squads, which is four. Now, personally, I think they should. Next we have is the private match options for the battle royale which is infiltration options is either the ac-130 a convoy or a blackhawk so basically what we already have in the game is more or less the way that we're going to come into the match the starting weapon fist a g21 pistol an mp5 an m4a1 or a knife enable battle royale loot this just basically turns on loot on supported maps then the cycle star size override this is the size of the damage circle at the map start default map match starts with no circle use this for smaller matches basically and the circle damage is multiplier so for respawn then we have respawn tokens can be looted after one use respawn tokens are disabled for the player to respawn a teammate, obtain a respawn token, then drop their body near an ambulance. Once the body is dropped at the ambulance, the player will enter the gulag queue for a chance to win a 1v1 and respawn into the match. At some point during the match, the gulag will be closed and no longer usable, thus preventing respawns. So once a player has respawned, they must locate and activate a mobile armory to retrieve their loadout. So this actually seems really cool to be honest. And you're able to fight your way through out the gulag to rejoin your team. So some bit of about the gulag is that it's going to be a 1v1. And anyone that is dead can actually spectate that match. So if you're in a 1v1 and there's a bunch say five other players are dead they'll be able to watch that 1v1 happening and every so often i'm presuming it'll be uh, a set marker of how many players are dead at one time then a prison break will happen 
which everyone in the gulag can get out and go back to their teams which is a really cool and interesting feature for the prison break and i'm presuming you have to work with the other people that are going to be in the gulag with you and find or dig or fight your way out i don't really know what it'll be but you basically get to do a prison break which is pretty cool to be honest in my mind next we have is armor which is going to be basically like the armor in black ops 4 where you had different levels of course higher the level better the protection so the first helmet is helmet level 1 reduces headshot damage by 30 reduces the effect of concussion and grenades sorry effect of flash and cushion grenades concussion grenades jeez what is wrong with me helmet level 2 reduces headshot damage by 30 helmet level 3 reduces the headshot damage by 15 ballistic vest level 1 absorbs 50 percent of the damage ballistic vest level 2 absorbs 150 percent of the damage ballistic level 3 absorbs 150 damage and increases healing item usage by 25 percent of course it wouldn't be a battle royale without loot so the looting is as follows rarities white green blue purple gold more or less just like fortnite is now you have a limited inventory space uh, airdrop timer is 30 seconds all weapons attachments equipment field upgrades and kill streaks from multiplayer will be in the game gas masks vests helmets bandages ammo backpacks portable defibrillator and plunder will as well cannot hold two of the same weapons which is pretty cool in my mind i think personally cannot take armor which is lower than your current equipped one which is a really good thing i think fortnite kind of has this thing where it basically swaps out the ones that are good and what's not good and basically just gives you the good ones if you just run over loot which is really good to be honest in my mind attachments which are incompatible with the current weapon will be placed in the backpack supply crates contain potentially valuable equipment or items which in my mind is actually pretty cool up next we have missions battle royale features missions which can be looted via finding tablets only one mission can be active for a squad at one time so mission types tracked timed run assassination which is eliminate a specific player scavenger hunt collect scavenger crates domination capture domination point random which is a random mission basically and the assassination one seems really fucking cool to be honest in my mind if no bounty is available for the assassination mission consultation plunder will be awarded when a mission is started or completed, the entire squad will be notified by an on-screen message. And they're also taking an element from the Apex Legends, where the jump master of the squad can select a deployment point prior to the match start. If the jump master chooses to discard the role, another player can become it. Players who are not the jump master have the ability to jump separately from the team if you ditch from the jump master you will not drop in the proximity to your loadout bag basically so the perks that will be in the battle royale is high alert grant vision when an enemy looks at you from the other outside of your fov spotter enemy equipment with a small radius is visible and highlighted to you even through walls tracker stalker marksman sleight of hand armor which is basically you use armor play 20 percent faster and then supply 10 percent more armor arstein tastes weapons you pick up have a chance to automatically upgrade which seems pretty cool to be honest deep pockets any usable equipment you pick up has an extra use which is interesting to say the least there's a good few here that are perks that are already in the game and then ones that aren't grenader any trouble equipment you pick up has an extra use as well 
healer your medic items continue to heal for an additional 25 percent of their value over the next 20 seconds thief when you harvest generate 20 percent more plunder armor or ammo scavenger sorry enemies you kill always drop some ammunition so it's basically scavenger armor scavenger enemies you kill will drop armor medic scavenger if you kill an enemy it drops medic items plunder if you kill an enemy it'll kill some plunder bounty hunter if you kill someone with more perks than you you gain enough points to match them and then you can replace this perk ghost you are invisible to drones and sensors sneaky your footsteps are invisible and enemies are not warned when you track them which is just crazy explosive ordinance disposal explosive resistance you can capture enemy claymores and mines earn plunder by completing missions and eliminating enemies purchase game changing items at plunder box locations click plunder and convert it into xp by jeez i just cannot speak by despo depositing it into atm machines located throughout the game now just a bit more about the gulag it is a prison camp a one-on-one -on -one single round match win to respawn when enabled players have the chance to respawn back into the match by winning a 1v1 gunfight the gulag acts as a king of the hill style gauntlet meaning players in the gulag queue will spectate the players who are currently fighting in the gulag and there will be a countdown on the screen indicating how many rounds are left until you fight a jailbreak happens every so often and kicks all players out of the gulag and back into the match players have the ability to place bets on the players who are fighting using plunder which you know this really seems pretty good and you know the game has kind of grown on me i know i said before that it was a shit game and everything like that but now it's kind of growing on to me there's not as many campers there is still a lot of campers out there is and yeah that's really it guys this is the end of the video thank you for watching and listening to me if you want i'm going to try and live stream every weekend on either twitch or mixer if you have a twitch link down in the description below go follow it i'll try and live stream on that i also my mixer will be down there as well my twitter and yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace